Tell me where that happened. Where I didn't like how she was driving? Yes. Um, not far from her house, like around the corner. Anyway, so there was an accident with the car. Do you remember how that happened? Me? No, I don't. You don't remember how that happened? You were driving. I never saw damage to the car. Well, did you have an accident with the car? No. What happened to the car? What right. happened to the car, Miss Richardson? Okay, he accused me of stealing some money and that was in my vehicle, which was, he, was, was his money. He got to accuse me of stealing his $100. He was driving my car. I was on the phone with my friend. I was telling her we was about to come get her. When he accused me of stealing his $100, he told me, I know you got my $100, give me my $100. We got the tussling, I hung up, I ended up calling 911. He ended up snatching the phone while I was in the middle of a dispatcher trying to give her my location, call, uh, telling me, you, you know I'm on parole, you know I'm on parole. Snatched the phone out of my hand, threw it out the window, and he smashed my car into like a Trump tree. It took off running. That's why you don't drive drunk or let somebody else drive your car while you're drunk. You are right. Good. So what do you want from me? <laughs> what do you want from I me? I want him to pay for throwing my phone out the window. He said you were acting like a lunatic in the car. I wasn't acting like no lunatic. Well, why don't you tell me your version of what happened, Mr. Lyles? Well, yeah, um, we was driving then. The money did come up missing. I had sat it in the cup holder, and as we were driving, I realized that it was gone, it was missing, and then um, I started to ask her about it. No, you asked her, where's my money? Yeah. And you said it nasty. Okay. Yeah, I asked her exactly where it was, and she, she started denying it, saying she didn't have it, you know? So then we began to argue from there, and one thing led to another. She was like real drunk out of her mind and swinging her arms and I just know the phone went out the window. My, my phone went out the window. I was on the phone with the dispatcher telling her that just I need assistance. Do you have that? Do you have that report from the dispatcher? I'd like to see it. Not the report for the dispatcher, but I got the report from his parole officer. No, I need the report from the dispatcher. That you uh, were on the phone with the dispatcher. No, I don't got that report from the dispatcher. No, good. Listen, I can't deal with two drunk people. When you get drunk, Bad things happen when you've been drinking and you let somebody get behind the wheel. Of, first of all, he says you started out driving. That's a lie. So you said he was driving. And where were you going? We was going to pick up my friend. So you were going to pick up a friend after you tell me that he was drinking tequila with you for an hour and a half. Yes. Goodbye. <laughs> what is our excuse? Lucky you didn't you hurt step anybody out. else. Just hurt yourself, Leave your, paper your car, and your phone. He crashed my car. I don't even know if I wrecked the car. I know she got drunk and started acting crazy. I jumped up and got out of there. He called me and, and crashed my car. I don't know if it was or if it wasn't. I didn't stick around to even see. I don't want to talk to him no more. I probably was a little buzzed. I wasn't drunk. I don't get drunk.